Welcome to a bit of a different video today and in a minute you're going to see some different clips of my day at school, specifically the morning getting ready and then a little bit after school as well. Just talking about how to get through a day when it is absolutely roasting hot so we've had some glorious weather today but the schools are sometimes not so equipped with working in the hot weather and definitely I know it's not ideal to be sat in a classroom with 30 children when it's absolutely roasting and as you can tell right now I'm still really really warm. We've hit about 32 degrees I think today here and it's only going to get hotter next weekend as well is going to keep on being like solid 25 26 throughout the week so i just thought i'd show you guys the type of things that i do to make sure and try and get through a school day when it's absolutely unbearably hot like it was today and be a bit of a different video with some video some voiceover that kind of thing so yeah have a look at what we did today to get through the school day and then i'll talk a bit about it at the end so this is at half past seven and we got the day started by getting in the car which was already ridiculously hot at this time of the morning as you can see, I was struggling to get my bag in just because it was half past seven and I was still pretty tired. But there you go, you can see the sunshine, it was something like 20 degrees already. Half past seven, getting in the car. First thing to do when you get in the car, get the engine on and get those windows down because it was crazy levels of warm in there despite being the morning. So the windows are coming down, ready to get going. Now, you might have noticed at the end there, I saw I had to fill out, I had 90 miles left, so it went and got robbed at the fuel station, as always, because fuel is disgustingly expensive right now. But then, back in the car, with the windows down, and we were ready to get going. So, thankfully, this should be enough fuel to get me through to the end of the week. So, now we're going to get into school, open up the classroom, and start getting ready for the day. Now, turning the lights on, and again, I could just feel like it was going to be a crazy day, and I fancied checking out what the temperature was going to be today, so once I turned the lights on, I'm going to go straight into the cupboard and find an old thermometer that I know is in there that we used to use for some science experiments. Grab that out and then try it and stick it up on the wall just because you can see that it's already 25, 26 degrees and this is only about 8 o'clock in the morning so it's just going to get hotter from there. So I had to go sticking up there next to the clock, however it very quickly fell down, I'll give it a few minutes later, I don't think I called it on camera though. So I ended up by my desk near the window and it did get crazy levels of hot later on. But anyway, getting into class, I need to go and get everything opened up, everything turned on, get the plugs on for the computer so that I can start warming up, and get the windows open so we can get any kind of breeze into the classroom that we think we can get. So get the windows open, hopefully that will try to help us out throughout the day, but as you might have seen in my little intro, I don't know if I've said it at the bit, I was going to talk about the end of the video, it does get up to about 35 degrees in here during the day, so it doesn't do a great deal to help. But anyway, we've got the windows open now and you can briefly see our reading display there with a bit of Harry Potter on and then I'm going to go sit down and get my computer turned on. And I click it, push the button in and then nothing happens. And at this point I was panicking, I was thinking, oh no, the heat's fried the computer screen, what was going to happen? What was I going to do today with no computer? But in the end, there you go, the screen turns on and it does all turn on pretty normally and everything comes online. So next thing, think about always important, what food have I got for today? And we've got normal stuff today, we've got a fruit snack, so we've got a fruit pot to eat throughout the morning, and then I've got some, it's actually a rice bolognese for dinners this week, but it's really, really nice, and then my trusty iPad just to get all the little jobs done that I need doing on that. So today's work, main two bits we did was some writing, which you can see, we've got the sheet printed off here, and I'll show you in a minute what we did for writing. And in this was what we're going to do for maths, this is actually going to be what we're going to do for maths tomorrow now because we ended up remembering just before we started, just before the children got into school, should I say, that we had a math test we had to finish off, just a kind of weekly arithmetic one. So we did the math test in the end, and as you can see there, which you'll see when I give the books out in a minute, PE kit, absolutely essential for today to get you through the day. So on the screen there, that's what we should be looking like for our writing day. As you can see, not high expectations, it's a poetry lesson, so we're looking, really thinking about the language that's used rather than the quantity that is going to be written. And then these are just the chunks we're going to be going through today from the right stuff, which I've got some other videos on. If you'd like to go and have a look at how we do that, and that's the learning objective and our steps to success, the kind of features we're going to be including. Then on here, this is a bit more about that math lesson that I was going to teach, that you can see what we're going to do tomorrow. We're still going from Abacus, even though next year we're moving over to right, White Rose. And yeah, we're going to have a look at some timetables and kind of use these different bits. And specifically this method, which I'm not always the best at teaching, but I do think some of the children find useful, and for time it's really, really useful. It's using that frog method, counting on, counting to the next hour, counting on to the target hour, and then adding on the minutes at the end. It is really, really good if you can get it sorted in your head, but I do struggle with it sometimes, so then I have to really focus on teaching it correctly. 
But that's what we're doing in math, that's what we're doing in writing, there are two major bits. So then we started giving the books out, and as you can see here, PE kit, absolutely essential. We need that PE kit to make sure that we're going to enjoy ourselves today and not get overly warm, because, yeah, it's just crazy too warm in the classroom. So that was the day, gave the books out, got through the day, it was nice, but really warm, and this is how we finished. Got home, got a magnum, paddling pool was out, sunshine was out, and we chilled in the garden for a good long while under the sun but it wasn't too lot warm at that point and as you can see there's a bit of clouds to help cover us up a little bit but yeah it was a lovely lovely end to the day and then i'll just talk you through in a bit more detail now so there you go that was my school day and as you can see it was ridiculously warm it got to about 35 degrees at one point in my classroom all the windows were open we didn't have a fan in there but it has been absolutely glorious throughout the day and we got outside as much as we could we were outside at break at dinner and then all afternoon we had some people from the local football team come in and do some work with the children which was really really nice spend the afternoon a bit in class and a bit outside and it's just about it's that maximizing the use of the shade when you're outside making sure you can get out there but also use the shade to kind of have a bit of cool time as well but yeah working in a school when it's hot is not always the most of pleasant of experiences because it can be really really warm and it can be really hard to get work done in the way you normally would but it's about taking into a fact that you know one we're almost at the end of term the children are tired the teachers are tired so tone down your expectations a little bit for everything and say try and have a bit of a calmer day things like water bottles make sure the children have got water bottles and they're filled up and they're hydrated because getting dehydrated can make everyone a bit grumpy everyone a bit upset and so making sure that hydration is on is really important making sure things like sun cream is on if they brought sun cream in give them a bit of extra time before break to apply sun cream before they go out to break or dinner just those little things you have to take into account that you might think are obvious and they are but when you're in the classroom and you're trying to teach trying to get everything done they can easily slip your mind but they're also really really important to make sure you're remembering and yeah that is just you know it's a quick snapshot of the day and hopefully it just gives you an idea of what it's like teaching in the summer term if you're moving into a school soon and you're going to start your teaching career then good luck to you and as always if you've got any questions do let me know but yeah teaching in the summer term can be one of the best times of the school year but it can be one of the hardest when it is this hot and you have to be in the classroom with 30 other children and you're making sure that they're still getting the work they need to do done but especially near the end of term tone everything down a little bit turn down the expectations a little bit work together to make sure you get everything done but make sure you're expecting that you know we're all a bit tired we're all a bit done in at the end of the year so we're just making sure we're getting what we need to do done and we're not really pushing them to really plow on a bit further than what they really need to do so hopefully this has been helpful and as always a new video on a tuesday friday and a sunday and as always i will see you at the next video see you soon